Hi, my name is Lawrence, and I'm glad to do this for you. Um, I, I, uh, I wanted to say first, I love it's really funny when they asked us the first day, why did we do this? And of course, an active service popped into my head, but I also a phrase from my religion, which is we comfort the afflicted and we afflict the comfortable. And I realized that <laughs> I've comforted several afflicted people, and I've also afflicted some, some skeptics. So that's my thing, is it's an active service by which I Start this way, but I have to acknowledge a man that I've been aware of on and off since Monday. So hopefully, one of our missing people is for him because he can do So this man feels very uh, young and healthy to me, very vibrant. I feel like I'm standing when I pass, and I feel like uh, uh, something sharp pierces my body. And this is uh, probably a bullet, bullet arrow, but something pierces my body, and this is how I pass. Um, and I pass on my feet. Uh, and I feel, like I'm, I feel like I know that I'm in danger. But I don't really believe I'm going to pass it and I do. So does that mean for anybody yet? Someone who feels like shot, someone who pass. I hope it's not you because we're friends, but that's okay if it is. And talk so few people. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it may be. Oh, and over here too? Okay. So it may be the reason I know I'm in danger is because lots of stuff is whizzing past me, like lots of bullets, for example, is what you say. Um, I know that I'm in danger, and I feel like the whole point of coming through is to say, that it, 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 so here's what it feels like. I feel the pressure of being hit, but it's just pressure. And I think, ah, did that happen? And, I, and as I'm thinking that, I'm watching my body collapse away from me. So, and I get the moment of passing a lot, so what I want whoever this is for to know is that it was super easy. It didn't hurt, it was super easy. And, and it feels nearly instantaneous, like a really fast pass. And so would this narrow it down? Is this a military thing from you to understand? Is that narrow or is that limited everybody? Okay, take out the military. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I feel like this person is shot and they're standing. So you're one person and back there and maybe here. And on to John. Oh, we're right here. How do you understand? This feels like a young man. He feels young and healthy and he feels, so he's showing me if you remember the TV show The Waltons, he feels like he has a bit of an aw shot stick. Vibe to him, and I feel like, and I would, and I would call him a good boy. For the way he's a good boy, that's what I want to call this guy. Um, and I, and I, and I, again, I want to say the point that it didn't hurt. It was super easy because I feel like it's my own mother that's somebody. It's a woman. I think it's my mother is worrying that I suffered at the end of my life, and I definitely did not. Is that you know? I know. Let me pull over here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hi. Yes. Hundred percent. What I'm saying. Maybe he's out. Hundred percent. Okay. He was. Okay, and do you know his mother? Yes. I'm not sure if you can tell her this or not, because I feel... I, oh, and Johnny too. Oh, gosh. Okay. I don't want to rule anyone <coughs> out but, and you, but I do want to say I feel pulled this way, but I don't want to rule out other people. So, if I'm with you, I, I, I think you probably understand the mother has some religious thing, because I feel like she's constantly praying for me, or constantly thinking about me, and I believe there's some kind of shrine or picture or something. Do you understand? Is it my bedroom that she hasn't changed since I passed, or is it just a, a, it's a shrine? It's like a shrine to me. I think I'm with this lady. And I, but please keep listening. Um, so I've got this shrine. I'm a good boy. Uh, people see me as a good boy. And you understand there's quite a lot of people in my service, whatever that, whatever that is. I feel like there's people, because I almost feel like I'm there and I'm like, do I know you? Like I feel like it draws a, my service draws a crowd, if that makes sense. Yeah. Understand that? Um, okay, good. I'm so glad because like, this man has been with me on and off. I've been aware of him since Monday. I'm like, oh, I hope I get there with your person. Uh, and you and his mom are, oh, it makes sense. You and his mom would be peers because this is a friend of your son, is what you said. Um, so, okay. But not close to this one, right? I don't feel like you're super close yeah. friends with her. You just, you just know each other. Uh, well, my story. Um, we shot. My son was there. Let him tell you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't go into details. Um, uh, just sort of, yeah, just to clarify. Okay, so um, there, I know that I passed. It did not hurt. Uh, it feels instantaneous. Um, and you, know, well, you just said your son's there, but I feel like there are other people who are also injured, but I'm one of the ones that dies. Do you understand that? Or I'm the one, one of the ones that passes? It's okay. Nine of them again shot, but injured. 
other injuries. And this is outside, this happens outside. And is there a car behind me or the cars behind me? Do you understand? Okay. Um, and it's, I have, to, I have to tell you this. I get the moment of passing a lot. And I've been shown really horrific passes. And every one of those has made it really clear that they struggled out of their bodies. They did not suffer out of their bodies. This guy isn't even showing me that. I literally go, huh? And I'm watching my body collapse. Super easy. I feel like it's important for my mom here. Super easy. And I want to all shout, it didn't hurt. Um, and she's, I know it's something normal for mom, but I feel like this one is, how do I say this? Dwelling isn't strong enough a word, but this one, he's, I feel like if she's awake, she's thinking about him. And it's painful. And I just want, I just want to say, stop it. I say, stop it. Um, I'm fine. So, I don't know what else to say about this um, man, unless you understand that there's also, I know it's his child or a younger sibling, but there's someone who doesn't get to know me very well because I passed when that person is so young. Do you understand that? I want to say they have to live their own. I don't compare them to me. I'm trying to make them into me. Don't try to idolize me. Like they've got to live their own. Let that person, I mean, you know, it's a boy or a girl, but I say, let that person be themselves. Um, and when I say that, I've got this shrine thing in my head where it's a bit loose. And so it's like an 8 by 10 picture, right? It's not like a little photo of me, right? It's a big, from this big picture of me uh, at, this, at this thing. Um, I feel like I know you, and I, so if you understand this boy feels welcome in your home, does that make sense to you? Because I want to, I suddenly want to take both your hands and say, thank you. <laughs> and I also feel like my mom is not that welcoming to your son, or she's weird about him, maybe because I've passed. Yes. I don't feel like it goes both ways. I don't feel like the welcoming thing necessarily goes both ways. Um, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, it's work. Okay. Uh, 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 I don't know what else to say about this word, but I do want to politely, speaking from his perspective, if I could ask him to nudge her or nudge you into saying something. Hey, this crazy guy told me I was at this thing and the city we're in, and he told me about your son because I feel like she needs to hear. I'm okay, and it's really important. And maybe this will make it real for her. It didn't hurt because I feel like she's worried I suffered, and I want to say it's instantaneous because I feel like someone has told her, or she feels like she's been lied to to spare her feelings. But I was like, it may be that I was gasping or something, but I feel like this guy is out before his body gets the ground. So and it, that feels really, really important to say that to you. I don't think I have anything else to say. About him, other than again, this thank you to you. Oh, and did he and your son do some sporting thing together? Because I want to high five who I think, who I imagine is your son. So I want to do that sort of thing. And I feel like he's, I want to, I'm not that, I want to, uh, 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 I want to talk about your son, and I feel like he's, it's not that he's moved on, but I feel like he's not dwelling on my passing, and I like that, that he's not constantly like, because he's not like that. Do you understand that he's, like, I feel like he's made his peace, and I kind of feel like I wish my mom would make her peace, because that would be good for me. And I want, I believe, the happier we are, the better it is for them, but you can't really say that to a mom who's good your son, but the happier we can be, the better it is for them. And it's just awesome. So, uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah.